guys and welcome back to my channel this is the youtubers weekly stamping collab and the theme for this week is monsters perfect timing for halloween designs so these are the solo pics of the ladies that participated in this week's collaboration okie dokie let's get started with my design so as you can see i have new nail growth so it's time to change it up and i've been rocking this set for almost a month because i wanted to see how it was gonna hold up this is a set I did with gel base coat and then I went ahead and added the tip on top of the gel base coat because I have not been using primer for like years now like when you do acrylic nails the nail primer yeah I haven't been using that cuz my nails are very sensitive so I just use a gel base coat or I make sure my nails are very clean of no oils or anything and I have not had any lifting or anything like that and you can, as you can see as I'm filing it I only had a little bit of lifting but not that much but that's because I've been wearing this almost a month and I worked with and I work with kids taking care of them and I do a lot of stuff with my hands so it worked good for me the gel base coat before I added the tips so I'm not telling you guys to go ahead and do that I'm just letting you guys know that is what works good for me so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this set like I said I need to get me like a bit that is more coarse because this was taking too long so after I remove most of the product with the drill I go in lastly with my hand file So for this new set, I wanted to change up the nail shape. I want to go in with a coffin shape, but I did notice that my nails were a little long and with these kitties, I cannot have long nails. So I go in with a clipper, clip off the tip a little bit, and then I go in and start forming that coffin shape. And I do like to use the rectangle nail files because you know, they're straight and they will give me straight lines when I do like coffin shaped nails or square nails. Due to my memory card running low on memory, I'm just gonna go ahead and do all of this on off camera. So after I filed and shaped the nails, I removed the dust with a lint free wipe and some alcohol. And to do the fill, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this OPI strengthening gel base coat and I'm gonna only apply that to the new growth of the nails. And then pop this into the lamp and cure for a minute. After it cures in the lamp, now I'm going to go ahead and remove that tacky layer off the nails. Before I go ahead and start my nails, I'm going to do the fill with clear acrylic and I am using Sparkle & Co's Base Bond which is a resin. So I'm going to apply that to basically where I applied the gel base coat which is in the new growth area and then pour some clear acrylic on top let that set and then I dust off the remaining excess powder
since my design is Frankenstein, I'm going to use Frankenstein from Claire 812. It's a beautiful mix with greens and blues. And I'm also going to use the Nail Junkie Zombie Acrylics. And it's very pigmented, so I am going to shake up the little bottle so the color could mix in very well. So for the thumbnail, I'm going to do a base of the Zombie Acrylic first. So I applied the base bond and then I dipped the nail into the little jar and tapped my finger to remove the excess powder. And before I dust it off, I go in and start pressing the powder in to make sure it covered completely on all of the nails. Once the base bond is set, I'm going to go in and start dusting off the excess powder. And as you can see, her acrylic powder did work as dip powder too because I already previously used it with monomer. So if you guys are interested in her acrylic powders, I have a 15% off discount code for you guys. It's May Slaves. I'll put it somewhere here on the screen. And you just apply it. And if you use it seven times she will sponsor a giveaway for you guys okay so in the tip i did add the glitter mix and i did not notice it had those big chunky skulls and bones yeah it was a little hard to work with those glitters for dip powder nails but i made it work so i did go ahead and added a second layer of that green but i forgot that i had the glitter mix in the bottom so it did cover a little bit of the glitter mix but when i dusted off it did come off just for next time I'll make sure to do my two coats of color and then do the glitter mix last. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to all of the nails. I did add the zombie acrylic and then for the middle fingernail I did it just like the thumbnail. After I did the colors, I did do a clear acrylic encapsulation. I just didn't show that part. So I'm going to be using this stamping plate from Born Pretty Store, BPXL007, and this is like a Halloween theme plate. And I just want to use those images at the bottom that is of like a scenery, like in a graveyard. So for my pinky nail, I am going to add this like scary trunk tree with branches. On my index nail, I add an image that has like a hand creeping out of the ground. And on the thumbnail, it's going to be the haunted house. For my ring nail, I want to use this image here of like branches that cover the whole nail. That's going to be like the background for the little Frankenstein trick-or-treater image that I'm going to be applying onto the nail. Um, I don't know if I recorded that part. I'm pretty sure I recorded only me cutting out the image because I don't know what happened. This set was all over the place because I originally wanted to paint Frankenstein but I didn't have anytime so I'm like let me use this water decal image but then I forgot to press record when I applied it onto my nail so so and here is the finished look I did notice when I was curing the nails when I applied the top coat that the nails do glow so that's a bonus for her acrylic so some of them glow so for the middle nail I did like a drip and black acrylic paint and then I outlined all the nails and black acrylic paint and for the ones that had like the scenery there I did like a dry brush technique to create like clouds in the sky so i hope you guys enjoyed this video although it was all over the place uh, and i will see you guys in the next one make sure to go ahead and check out the other ladies designs out too their links will be down below and i hope you guys stay tuned for all my 31 days of halloween it started today with day one so every day i will upload one video until the end of october
Bye.